This video is going to be explaining how fuel th flows through the aircraft and enters various systems. So here we have the left tank, the left tank, and the right tank, uh, fuel tanks that are stored in the wings of the aircraft. You have a selector valve that allows you to either use your left tank, your right tank, or both if your aircraft has that setting. Once you select what tank to use, um, let's say you select the left tank, the fuel can either go into the carburetor or into the primer if you're starting up the engine. But first it'll pass through a strainer. So in order to get the engine started up, the fuel will pass through the strainer into the primer. So, as shown here, it'll just pass through. I'm sure the strainer is a lot smaller on an aircraft than I have it shown here. Probably a lot more fine, but just as an example. It'll go through the strainer into the primer, and the primer sends fuel straight into the cylinders, like I mentioned for engine startup. Once the engine is started up, the fuel will then go into the carburetor. Again, let's say we're just using the left tank, so I can film at the same time as I demonstrate this. Uh, it will pass through the same strainer once again, but this time into the carburetor when the engine is running. As stated before, the fuel goes through a fuel strainer much like a fuel filter on a regular car. It is pumped by an engine driven pump which is inside the engine right here. And every engine has an air filter like this one, except on a plane it's on the bottom and has a mesh so no birds can fly into it. Every carburetor is almost like a toilet. It has a float chamber for the gas to accumulate and the needle which you can affect the mixture and in this case the idle pin. Fuel then flows into the air fuel mixture and in that chamber there is a venturi effect action going on where it creates an area of low pressure where it the air speeds up so the gas and air can mix. As you can see, this is the air intake and this is where you can put more or less gas. As the fuel and air mix, it is injected into each cylinder and when the spark from the spark plug ignites the fuel air mixture, it combusts and sends exhaust gas out into the exhaust pipe.